Radar Online posted a really interesting article today, Friday, January 28th of 2022, and the title was, Nicki Minaj shamelessly self-promoting new music after being sued by security guard over husband Kenneth Petty's alleged sucker punch. I guess Whitney Vasquez is the writer of the article. Here's what she wrote, and I'm not going to read all of this verbatim, but here's the gist of it. First of all, click the thumbs up button. Click the thumbs up. It's free. Subscribe. It's free. Choose all notifications. Make sure you leave a comment. Say hi in the comments. I don't ask y'all to buy stuff. I don't ask y'all for donations, but I do ask y'all to at least say hi in the comments or leave another comment. Do you think he's guilty? Do you think that Kenneth Petty is innocent? Let me know something in the comments and make sure you click thumbs up. Basically, Kenneth Petty punched a man in his jaw so hard, allegedly, and all of this is alleged for the record for legal reasons, that he allegedly broke the man's jaw, or at least I guess what the man is claiming, and Nicki Minaj is allegedly promoting her upcoming new music. They said that the 39-year-old hip-hop star, oh my god, I have to read this part verbatim because remember, the media is has been attacking Nicki Minaj for years and praising Cardi B for years. So listen to what they said, and I'm going to read it, and I'm not going to read in Cardi B's voice. Listen closely. The 39-year-old hip-hop star has been continuing to act like her husband's name hasn't made headlines for all the wrong reasons, sharing upcoming late-night appearances, thirsty videos, and a countdown to her brand new single, Do We Have a Problem? So for y'all to say that I'm biased and I'm unprofessional, shout out to Whitney Vasquez from The Great Radar Online, sounding pretty biased there, allegedly. And I'm going to read this part verbatim as well. Listen to this. Nikki continued to hype up her fans about her latest project, failing to mention anything about the scathing lawsuit filed against her and her husband only hours prior, dropping an, a, an attention-grabbing video. The Pink Friday rapper looked completely unbothered by the mess, dressing her jaw-dropping curves. Oh, now you're going to throw her a compliment. In a tight leather dress, Nikki stripped off her coat, and wiggled, wiggled her hips, making everyone forget that her name is being dragged in the news. Pink Friday, February 4th of 2022, hashtag do we have a problem, eight days left, hashtag Balmain Barbie, she captioned the Thursday thirst trap. On Friday, she continued to post about her busy work week ahead. Not only is she releasing new music, but she's also sitting down with beloved late night host, James Corden, is he a beloved late night host to you guys? Anyway, for a special interview where she's expected to drop a bombshell. It's been a moment since Nicki dropped new hits, but it's not her highly anticipated music that's making headlines. Blah, blah, blah. The article goes on to say that basically Nicki and Kenneth were hit with a lawsuit. The name of his accuser is Thomas Wiedemuller. Or I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he claims that he was the head of security at Nicki Minaj's Germany rap concert back in March of 2019. So this is almost three years ago. Now, Thomas says that basically what happened was a, a fan, this is all alleged, went to the stage where Nicki was performing. And of course, you know, that's a no, no security is supposed to stop stuff like that. And then in the lawsuit. Thomas allegedly claimed that Nicki Minaj took her anger out on the fan bum rushing the stage on a female security staffer allegedly calling her an effing B word. And then he says that the employee left in tears. So she was crying. So he went over to Nicki Minaj, who allegedly started screaming at him and allegedly threw a shoe. Hold up. That's my trick. Cardi B, how did you pop up in this video? Come on now. I threw a shoe at Asia. Upon loving hip hop, and I allegedly, possibly, maybe threw a shoe at Nicki Minaj at a high class event. That's how I got my nickname, Naughty B. I had a big old knot on my head, thanks to security, allegedly. Whoever knocked me outside my head that day, that night, whatever. I can't remember, I got knocked the fuck out though. Okay, Cardi. Oh, okay. Anyways, uh, back to the story. According to the story, allegedly, somebody, I, I don't know if it was supposed to be Nicki, allegedly, whoever, was like, look, go to Nicki's dressing room you know, later, and basically, I, I guess after the concert, I'm assuming, so then that way they could discuss the situation or whatever, and allegedly, Kenneth, allegedly, threw a sucker punch and hit the dude in the jaw, that's what's being alleged, okay, he claims that Kenneth's punch caused him to have, listen to this, eight surgeries to fix his jaw, and he also says that he had to get five plates on his face, I don't understand what putting a plate on your face would do. You know, I mean, that could have had some vegetables or some fruit or something good on it or a steak or something. So I don't understand why you would need a plate for your face. But anyways, 
He's suing both Nikki and Kenneth for damages, and that includes his medical bills, were, which allegedly were a pretty penny. Allegedly. Now, do you guys think that Kenneth Petty is guilty of what he's being accused of? I mean, I've seen him throw a puncher for, and he punches like a girl. He doesn't hit hard. He doesn't hit hard like me. So I, I couldn't imagine somebody who punches like a kitten. His name should be Kitten Petty. Do punches, no, Kitten Pussy, because the dude, listen, Kenneth Petty does not hit hard. Okay? The dude hits like a pussycat. And I don't understand how somebody who throws a punch like a baby could do that much damage. Did the dude fall, allegedly? Did, did, did a light fall from the sky and hit him? <laughs> allegedly? Shoot. Did this, I mean, I couldn't imagine somebody who punches as soft as this dude. I mean, literally. I, when I saw him punch, listen, it would take, uh, without any exaggeration, one of Kenneth Petty's punches might be like three, four, five, or six, or seven of my punches. At least. I might even punch harder than that. So I couldn't imagine somebody who punches as soft as him doing that much damage to somebody. But that's just me estimating as, you know, a boxing martial artist bodybuilder. You know, for somebody who's way more athletic than this guy. Anyway, click the thumbs up button, subscribe, choose all notifications to let me know you made it all the way into the end of this video. The secret password to say in the comment section is princess punch why princess punch because kenneth petty punches like a disney princess so it's very very hard for me to believe that he did that much damage to anybody